Ultrasound is used for number of purposes. Destructive ultrasound is used to produce extreme hypothermia which causes tumoricidal effect in cancer patients. Therapeutic ultrasound is used for rehabilitation of many different injuries. And diagnostic ultrasound is used for imaging the fetus during pregnancy. The ultrasound waves are same like sound waves. The only difference is the ultrasound waves have higher frequency than the sound waves. The sound waves have frequency ranging between 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. So, the ultrasound waves have frequency higher than 20,000 Hz. Ultrasound waves cannot be heard by the humans and hence are called as ultrasonic. The therapeutically used frequency of ultrasound lies between 1 MHz to 3 MHz. The depth of penetration of ultrasound waves depend upon the frequency of ultrasound. Ultrasound waves having frequency of 1 MHz is used for penetration of deep tissues as it can penetrate up to 3 to 5 cm. Ultrasound waves of 3 MHz are used for treating superficial tissues as it can penetrate only up to 1 to 2 cm. See, what happens is, when the ultrasound passes from one medium to another, the ultrasound waves are reflected back. The number of waves that are reflected back or are transmitted through the tissue depends upon the medium through which the ultrasound waves travel. For example, when the ultrasound waves travel through the air medium, all the ultrasound waves are reflected back. And when the ultrasound waves travel through the aquasonic gel, 79% of the ultrasound waves are transmitted to the tissues. So the importance of reflection property of ultrasound is that ultrasound head must never be kept in the air. If ultrasound head is kept in the air, all of the ultrasound waves are reflected back to the treatment head resulting in damage to the ultrasound head. When ultrasound waves travel from one medium to another, they do not travel along a straight path. Instead, they get deviated from its original path. This is called as refraction. Due to refraction, the ultrasound waves do not reach the target tissues. So to avoid refraction of the ultrasound, the treatment technique should be proper. When the ultrasound head is kept perpendicular to the surface of the treatment area, the incident waves travel along the normal. This does not allow the refraction to take place and hence the ultrasound waves reach the target area. When the ultrasound waves passes from the surface of the skin into the deep tissue, the intensity of the ultrasound waves reduces. This is called as attenuation. Attenuation of the ultrasound waves occur due to two reasons. One is due to absorption of the heat by the tissue. Second is due to scattering of the ultrasound waves as it passes deep into the tissues. Half value distance. The distance at which the ultrasound intensity reduces to the half. Half value distance is significant while treating the deeply placed tissues. So, it must be remembered that intensity reaching the deep structures will be less than the intensity being applied to the surface. Let us know what is coupling media. Ultrasound waves are not transmitted through air. Therefore, a coupling medium is required which transmits the ultrasound waves from the ultrasound head into the deep tissues. The most commonly used coupling is aquasonic gel which has 72% of transmission rate. Ultrasound waves travel longitudinally as beam. So, the beam exhibits two different beam patterns. One is near field, the other is far field. Near field is the field near to the transducer head which has converging beam and the far field is the one which is far from the head of the ultrasound and has diverging beams. The significance of the near field is that it is more intense than the uh, far field and hence is more effective in treating certain conditions. Let us discuss about the physiological effects of ultrasound. First one, thermal effects. The ultrasound waves are absorbed by the tissues and converted into heat. The heat produced is helpful in many ways. There are three uses of thermal effects. First, uh, the local rise in temperature is used to accelerate tissue healing. Second, the extensibility of the collagen is increased by rise in temperature which helps in stretching of scars or adhesions. Third, 
it the heat produced is helpful in reducing pain mechanical effects of ultrasound the mechanical effect is caused by pressure changes applied to the tissue by sound waves there are two mechanical effects first one is micro massage second one is cavitation micro massage occurs at the cellular level the cells are alternatively compressed and then pulled apart this is analogous to massage and is claimed to have effect on intercellular fluids and thus reducing edema cavitation is a condition in which a bubble of gas is formed inside the tissue as a result of insonation there are two types of cavitation stable cavitation unstable cavitation stable cavitation occurs when the bubbles oscillate to and fro within the ultrasonic pressure the stable cavitation remains intact it is not dangerous it is beneficial due to micro streaming micro streaming is a unidirectional movement of fluid around the boundaries of the cell due to micro streaming permeability of the cell membrane and the direction of movement of molecules in the cell is influenced unstable cavitation unstable cavitation occurs when the volume of the bubble changes rapidly and then collapses as the bubble collapses it produces local rise in temperature which is potentially dangerous to the tissues unstable cavitation can be prevented by following measures first using the ultrasound intensity below 4 watts per centimeter square using pulsed source of ultrasound and moving the treatment head continuously during the treatment to avoid standing waves biological effects of ultrasound ultrasound is helpful in all the three stages of tissue repair in inflammatory stage the ultrasound helps in the release of contained enzymes these enzymes help to clear the area of debris in proliferative phase ultrasound helps in the mobility of fibroblast and myofibroblast to the area of repair the fibroblast are stimulated to produce collagen fibers to form scar and myofibroblast contract to pull the edges together in remodeling phase of tissue repair ultrasound improves the tensile strength of the scar thereby mobilizing the scar therapeutic effects of ultrasound ultrasound is helpful in recent injuries or inflammation the mechanical and biological effects of ultrasound bring about the removal of traumatic exudates and promotion of tissue repair and thereby resolving inflammation and reducing pain ultrasound helps to reduce chronic indurated edema this is because of acoustic steaming forces of ultrasound that helps in removing of chronic edematous fluid scar tissue mobilization the thermal effects of ultrasound combined with stretching help in enhancing the flexibility of tight soft tissue let us know how ultrasound reduces pain first improves the flexibility of the tight soft tissues that restricts the joint range of motion second removal of the noxious metabolites through increased blood flow third modulates pain by pain gate theory ultrasound helps in wound healing by biological effects i have discussed biological effects before in surgical skin incision ultrasound helps in three ways first it reduces pain second resolves hematoma third repairs tissue ultrasound facilitates the resorption of calcific deposits that occur in certain tendons such as supraspinatus the exact mechanism of resorption of calcific deposits is unknown ultrasound helps in healing the fractures that are in the state of non union and delayed union low doses of ultrasound enhances the rate of fracture healing ultrasound is useful in treating compressive syndromes like carpal tunnel syndrome a pulsed ultrasound is useful in compressive syndrome the proposed mechanism for this effect are anti inflammatory and tissue stimulating effect ultrasound is also helpful in the repair of articular cartilage by biological effects of ultrasound methods of application of ultrasound there are three methods of application of ultrasound direct contact method water bath method and water bag method in direct contact method coupleant is uh, aquasonic gel in water bath method water is used as the coupleant and in water bag method uh, the rubber bag filled with degassed uh, water is used as coupleant this is direct contact method it is used when the surface to be treated is fairly regular 
the coupling medium is applied to the skin in order to eliminate the air between the skin and the treatment head the treatment head is moved in the small concentric circles over the skin in order to avoid concentration at any one point this technique is suitable for areas up to 3 times the size of the treatment head this is water bath method it is done when the direct contact is not possible because of irregular shape of the part to be treated a tub filled with degas water is taken the part to be treated is immersed into the tub and the treatment head is placed in the water and held 1 cm from the skin and moved in small concentric circles This is water bag method. It is used when the part to be treated is irregular and cannot be placed in water bath. The rubber bag filled with degassed water is placed between the treatment head and the skin. The treatment head is pressed firmly onto the bag so that the layer of water is about 1 cm thick. The treatment head is then moved over the surface of the bag. In this method there is a problem of attenuation. Attenuation occurs due to more interfaces that has to be crossed by the ultrasound waves and also rubber absorbs much of the ultrasound energy. This can be minimized by using condoms or thin balloons. The ultrasound head can be moved in different patterns on the skin like concentric circles, overlapping circles, figure of 8 and transverse strokes. dangers that occur during ultrasound treatment are burns cavitation overdose and damage to the equipment burn can occur when the ultrasound head is kept stationary without moving it it can produce excess heat which accumulates in the tissue and eventually leads to burn cavitation can occur which can potentially damage the tissues which i have already discussed before excessive dose of ultrasound can aggravate the symptoms danger to the equipment when ultrasound head is kept in the air uh, the ultrasound waves get reflected and it damages the head of the ultrasound ultrasound should not be used on vascular conditions like thrombophlebitis as it can lodge the emboli to different places which is dangerous ultrasound cannot be used on the area of acute sepsis because of danger of spreading of infection Therapeutic ultrasound should be avoided over the lower back or pelvis of the patient who is pregnant as maternal hypothermia has been associated with fetal abnormalities. Ultrasound can damage the CNS tissues. Therefore, ultrasound should not be used in patients who have undergone laminectomy or the patients who have spina bifida where spinal cord is exposed. Ultrasound should not be used on tumor because of the fear of spread of uh, tumor that is metastasis. Ultrasound must be avoided over the areas of joint replacement as the ultrasound produces heat uh, which can lead to loosening of prosthesis. Ultrasound should not be applied to the chest or upper back of the patient using pacemaker as it may get heated and get damaged due to ultrasound. Ultrasound should not be used over eyes as it can cause cavitation and ocular fluid and may damage the eye. Ultrasound should not be used over the male or female reproductive organ as it can affect the gamete development. Ultrasound is not applied to the radiated area after 6 months of irradiation. Ultrasound must be used with caution on acute inflammation as it can exacerbate the symptoms of acute inflammation. application of ultrasound over the epiphyseal plate is controversial there is a study that reports that ultrasound above 3 watts per centimeter square can damage the epiphyseal plate therefore a high dose of ultrasound must not be applied to the epiphyseal plates subscribe to my channel for more videos like this